Our curriculum is designed to get students engaged in research so that they can actually learn science by doing science. And that's kind of a theme of not just our department, but our whole college. And one of the ways that we show that is in the programs that we've developed for students to develop skills that they can use no matter what they're going to do once they finish and graduate. And also the one-on-one -on -one mentoring and working with faculty and research labs. We want to make sure that our curriculum and our experiences that we provide students will enable them to build skills that will allow them to do that by the time they're in the upper division. So we have many different programs and activities to help get them to that point. I'd say Cal State Fulton is definitely one of the leading institutions here in California, especially within Cal State Universities, um, that provide you know, many experiences to undergraduates uh, in, t in terms of you know, high, uh, high impact practices like doing research and being mentored you know, for at least one year, two years, uh, maybe even three years. So the Research Careers Preparatory Program or what we call the RCP, it's basically a program, a uh, one year program where we uh, try to get students very early on, uh, freshmen, sophomore and transfer students from community colleges. So the idea is to get them, introduce them to research and then once they uh, they are into the program we actually um, move them towards a higher uh, fellowship programs that we have like the MAC, the Minority Access to Research. We also have the SERP, Southern California Echo uh, Systems Research. We also have um, the ba uh, Bridges to Stem Cell Research Program and HHMI program. So those are upper division level research, usually two year programs. So California Institute for Regenerative Medicine is a state-funded um, research funding organization and the key objective is to bring stem cell therapies to the clinic. Under the umbrella of the training programs that are funded by CERM, uh, Bridges to Stem Cell Research is direct designed specifically for undergraduate and master's level students. The goal of that program is to bring give undergraduate students an opportunity to work in a, in a re stem cell research lab full time. They are working on the skills um, in cell and molecular biology, they're working on skills that are specific to stem cell research, they're working on presentation skills, how to investigate and how to def uh, design a proposal, how to come up with an alternative hypothesis, what would they do if their experimental strategy went wrong. They do all of those things in our five BSCR curriculum courses. The Bridges to Stem Cell Research program provides these students an amazing experience which will define their uh, future careers in research. As an undergrad, I joined SERP. And in SERP, you have to do um, independent research. They basically showed me the skills of how to conduct research. And as a master's student, I just strengthened those skills under the guidance of Dr. Jochen Schenk. Here in the Schenk lab, we conduct research on water transport in plants and what happens to, um, to it under drought conditions when air bubbles form in the system of plants or the xylem. It's important to understand what happens when air bubbles form in, in the system because we can prevent and manage the effects of climate change on plants and also in agriculture. The main focus of my research here is the uh, study of uh, ion channel function uh, in a parasite that is called Trypanosoma cruciale. Since 2005, we have a complete genome of these parasites. That's very exciting and that, that opened uh, a whole world of possibilities of studying these diseases and how to control them course that I'm teaching is called Advances in Cell Bio and it's an advanced course in cellular biology with the, the objective of uh, making the students familiar with primary literature. The idea is that the, for the students to uh, read primary literature in hot topics in cellular biology and learn about methods, new methods that are uh, being developed and uh, new uh, results that really are important for the advance of cell biology. 
I think that it's important that the science that you do has to have a connection with the real world. And I think that teaching is, is that connection. We sort of have the teacher-scholar model and we're moving now into ways to really integrate teaching with research so that you can be a little bit more efficient and serve more students in that capacity.